hey, Sean, I have no ambition right now. And this is not a video just to set your expectations now. This is not a video to like get you motivated or if you're struggling without ambition, then here are five things you can do to get going and beat your writer's block or whatever. That's not that. Uh, that's not what this is. This, uh, because I have no ambition. And to make a video like that, it would take ambition. And I currently have none. And it's okay. Life comes in phases, and, and not just life for any individual, but for a creative, for somebody, especially if you do creative work professionally, um, and especially, especially if you do creative work for your passion projects and things like that, being ambitious all the time would be an obnoxious way to live. It would be way too much. It would be like bleeding into hustle culture. You wouldn't have time to sit down and, and savor what you've created and reflect and look back. Life ebbs and flows and ambition comes and goes. And rather than focusing on being upset with yourself for not being ambitious, take a minute and enjoy a little lull from the hustle that you force yourself into potentially, from, from the busyness that comes with multiple projects and ideas and collaboration and all the meetings and, and the editing, all the things that go into it, you're, you're gonna have chapters in your life and there will be ambitious chapters and there will be chapters where you are less ambitious and it's okay. That's the biggest part of this video is it's okay to lack ambition from time to time. Personally, I noticed this lack of ambition as my son began adjusting emotionally to school. So suddenly I have a little bit more free time as my son started school. And as he was struggling to adjust as any three-year-old would and does, it was still keeping me very busy. And, and, and being a full-time father for most of the past three years has, has kept me very, very busy. And now that there's, I'm starting to notice this lull, there's an opportunity to create. I now have a little bit of free time that I didn't have. And I noticed that I'm just not filling that time with producing. And I, I, I don't mean production, but I mean like creating something. I'm not filling that time. You're not seeing suddenly a whole influx of new videos on this channel or, or projects popping up. I'm very comfortable right now. And on top of that, I do have some work. I still have two or three pretty big clients and two or three pretty big projects going on right now, which I am fortunate enough to collaborate and delegate a little bit of so that I'm not just you know inundated with work right now. I've got this kind of happy equilibrium right now of I'm earning money, not a ton, but not nothing. I have projects, not a ton, but not nothing. And it's just this real comfortable place to coast. And I've been happy here for a while as I've been balancing fatherhood and creativity uh, as a professional. I've, I've leaned very much toward fatherhood for a long time and I've been okay with that. And now that I'm starting to have a little bit of potential to create with my schedule, I'm starting to notice that I'm just not doing it. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not ambitious. And I've been fortunate to work and to work with and talk with a lot of people. And one of my favorite people that I met recently is a guy named Chris. And Chris is taking his photography expertise and transitioning to video uh, or not transitioning to video, but adding video to his repertoire. And he's going out and he's doing stuff and he's shooting in his free time and he's making stuff and he's sending it to me. And I'm looking at him like, man, that's awesome. Like, oh, you've got a camera. You've got a little bit of time. You've got whatever resources you've got and look what you made. That's awesome. And that's so ambitious. And I, and I look at that. I'm like, yeah, man, go have fun with it. I'm not, I'm not inspired. And I look at some of my colleagues that I've worked with over the past several years who, who didn't have the full-time fatherhood creative uh, hiatus that I experienced and their careers are going gangbusters. They're working with incredible clients. They're producing incredible stuff. You can see the difference in what they're creating now versus what they were creating three years ago. And my stuff kind of looks the same right now as it looked three years ago. And I'm, I could get hungry and go out and do something and, 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 and tweak and learn and iterate, but I'm just, I'm just not ambitious enough right now. And again, 
I'm not here to kick myself in the high gear and pull myself up by my bootstraps and get out and create. I'm just, I'm just enjoying lacking a little ambition for the time being. Now, by contrast, when I am feeling ambitious, that's when I've done some really cool things that I'm really proud of. And uh, thinking of things like the marshmallow lesson, my short film, our little world, my, my children's show, which we were scheduled to film production uh, in, in April of 2020, and that got put on the back burner for safety reasons. But things like the plays, not points, the boom clothing that, that we've done, um, the What Have You Learned series, my upcoming Just One Chapter series. These are all things that when I'm feeling ambitious and creative and I just need to do something, I love that. And these projects in some ways define me as a creative and I like that. But instead of feeling guilty for not continuing to just create, 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 I'm enjoying this, this break from ambition and I'm using it as an opportunity to just reflect to look at the projects I've created, look at the things that I've done and said, what did I really enjoy? What did I create and I didn't really enjoy it? Or, or I'm looking back, I don't really care about that project so much. And I think if I were so focused on creating, I would miss this opportunity to just sit with it a little bit and see what has appealed to me a little bit and maybe what has, has no appeal or has lost its appeal. So what's next for me? I don't know. I know that I won't lack ambition forever. And as I wrote this video, line by line, I thought like, oh, this would be fun to go Casey Neistat style and like just make my way through the script rather than keeping track of thoughts in my head. Like I can just do a line here with the camera here, do a line there with the camera here. It's like, that'll be fun. And, and, and I want to try that. But tonight it was just a long night. And I'm like, you know what? I, that, that's too ambitious. Just not feeling it. And so I'm going to enjoy this time lacking ambition. And I hope if you find yourself in a position where you're not feeling ambitious, that you don't beat yourself up for it. That's the biggest thing. Practice some self-compassion. Practice a little bit of forgiveness for yourself, knowing that you'll become ambitious again. The, these, these things will find you. But if you force yourself into it right now, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much as when it starts to hit you a little bit more naturally. So take some time if you're feeling a lack of ambition just enjoy it don't beat yourself up for it because if you can be nice to yourself throughout the whole thing when you return to ambition you will like yourself a whole lot more for it and you will create things that you'll be a whole lot happier with that's all i've got thank you for having the ambition to click on this video and watch it if you're feeling ambitious right now good for you exciting uh if you're not feeling ambitious right now Enjoy the break. I'm going to watch more YouTube videos than I normally watch. I'm going to waste more time playing mobile games than I probably should, but this phase will end and you will see some of the things I create when I'm feeling ambitious again. That's all I got. Have a great day, night, whatever, wherever. See you later. Bye. You know, I probably could redo this video and make it a little a little tighter, save a little bit of time, but I'm just not ambitious enough to try that right now.